I extend greetings to all Guyanese on the occasion of Emancipation Day 2021. I'm gratified to belong to a country that honors and celebrates its ethnic diversity and which on this occasion gladly embraces in unity our African Guyanese heritage. I'm especially pleased to be joining all Guyanese in commemorating Emancipation Day. My upbringing and my political career have been molded by the bonds of friendship cultivated over the years. I've benefited from the advice and support of a number of outstanding and dedicated professionals of African descent, whom I'm proud of and whom I call friends, colleagues, brothers, and sisters. These relationships, however, are not defined by distinctions of race, class, or religion. This, to me, is the essence of being Guyanese. While we take the time to pay homage to our African Guyanese brothers and sisters, on the occasion of emancipation, we must seize this opportunity to acknowledge the value and to celebrate their tremendous achievements and contribution to national development. Undoubtedly, African Guyanese have distinguished themselves in all spheres of human endeavor. Among the many achievements have been the laying of the foundation of Guyana's economic infrastructure, establishing the village movement, pioneering undertakings of the peasantry, developing local government systems, promoting cooperative institutions and other social organizations, and being in the forefront of the emergence of local trade unionism. You, our African Guyanese brothers and sisters, remain integral to national development and continue to excel and contribute to our nation's progress. African Guyanese doctors, nurses, and other medical personnel are among those on the front lines, providing life-saving care and treatment to our sick and informed. They're securing our borders, policing our territorial waters, and safeguarding our tongues, villages, and communities. You are among Guyana's dedicated teachers who are molding the minds and values of our children, Guyana's future leaders. As sportsmen and women, you are making our country and region proud by your amazing accomplishments and performance. African Guyanese occupy senior position in the state. Administration, you're working assiduously to improve the quality of public services to our citizens. African Guyanese farmers, fishers, loggers, and miners are generating wealth. Professionals and entrepreneurs are helping to propel industry and commerce. While we look to the future with hope and optimism, on this occasion, we are called to reflect on our past. The abolition of slavery was a defining moment in our country's history. It ended the abhorrent, inhumane system of human enslavement, which has seen millions of innocent Africans being transported across the Atlantic Ocean only to be sold into chattel slavery and forced into unmitigated toil and suppression. Emancipation Day recalls the heroic courage and sacrifices of our African ancestors in their epic struggle for freedom and human dignity. Today, and every Emancipation Day, we salute the indomitable will of those who rebelled against the indignities of slavery. Guyana's history is punctuated by uprisings, courageous acts by enslaved Africans, including the decisive blows for freedom that took place in 1763 and 1823. Freedom, however, was not accompanied by recompense for the atrocities committed against those enslaved. Emancipation Day remains a constant reminder of the debt that is still owed to Africans and the descendants. It is therefore fitting that on this day, we as Guyanese recommit to the goal of regaining international reparations for the crime of African enslavement. Reparative justice must include a full and unconditional apology from those responsible and are who benefited from the transatlantic trade in captive Africans and their consequent enslavement. Reparative justice, however, cannot be confined to such an ab apology. It must go further. Guyana will continue to support the efforts being made within the Caribbean community to press for the convening of an international summit to demand reparative justice 
for the victims of the transatlantic slave trade, African enslavement, and its enduring effects. As we look to the future on this anniversary of emancipation, I assure you, our African Guyanese brothers and sisters, that you will not be excluded from or left behind in Guyana's national development. Every citizen will benefit from the opportunities which are being unlocked. We want every Guyanese to be part of this development, sharing in its transformation and its resultant benefits. As I said during my inaugural address in the 12th Parliament earlier this year, and as I've repeated on many occasions after, an essential part of my government is inclusion. As Guyanese, we should be defined by our nationality and by our common love for our country. The establishment of the One Guyana Commission will give life to our vision of oneness. On the occasion of emancipation, recall our African ancestors' struggle for freedom. Let us, the heirs of their struggle and sacrifices, safeguard that freedom we now enjoy and use it as a springboard for national development. An exciting and glorious future lies ahead. Let us all work together as brothers and sisters to realize the aspirations that were birthed on the very first Emancipation Day. Happy Emancipation Day to all. God bless you.